Liberty Day. Forget about yesterday. Today with AMBAC and MBIA, Lehman on the move. So let's get analysis on the financials and the markets with our special guest for the next half hour. We are so privileged for a half hour to have billionaire financier Wilbur Ross of WL Ross and Company join us now. Great to see you. Thanks Good for coming in. Again. I, before we hit today, I want to know about, yes, a lot of people were wondering what was going on yesterday with Lehman. What's your best guess? Well, I think there are a lot of rumors and speculation, a lot of hedge funds wishing that Lehman would have serious grief. And I think that was what you saw a lot of yesterday. So it was the puts by the hedge funders? I think so. I think so. That's frustrating to average people out there who might own Lehman Brothers as a stock. Lehman came back fighting, buying back a lot right. of its own stock. Uh, today we hear that Luma's sales, one of the big bond names, is right. buying up some of the distressed debt. Sure. Does Lehman survive and thrive? What's going to happen? What's well, the next Lehman step? Lehman is a good name. It has very many good assets. It has Newberger Berman. It's got all sorts of things ab above and beyond the trading and the investment banking. Good wealth management, good a lot of things. I, I think what is something that people should focus on is when the exchanges did away with the plus tick rule on shorting, they gave the hedge funds a tremendous amount of power that they never had before. It used to be you could only sell short on an uptick. Now you can just blast and blast and blast. And I think that has contributed a lot to the volatility, and particularly when many of them focus on an individual name. Do you think that should be changed, the uh, getting rid of the uptick name, should that be an uptick issue, should that be brought back? Well, frankly, we lived with it for quite a while, and, it, and the wor markets work quite well. So it's not so clear to me why we need to do away with it now particularly as hedge funds are so much larger than they ever had been. Now, on the other hand, financials have access to Fed funds that they never had before. In fact, even Bears, it's so recent that had Bear Stearns had access to as much as financials have now, right. they might have not have gone under. So, so Lehman does have a lifeline. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, surely so. Um, and that, I think, was a very good decision by the Fed to open the windows. It also opens the windows to more regulation, more scrutiny, and that's probably not so bad either. What would be your idea of good regulation in light of this new window that they have opened to them as opposed to the bad? Well, I, th I think they're having good regulation in the form of even more detailed disclosure than is required of a broker-dealer in the normal course. So I, I think that's all to the good. To me, disclosure is the cure for... Most Shine a light on it, and that's, that's the main the thing The roaches go running, then. Uh, let's get to AMBAC and MBIA. Right. Moody's now saying, you know what, we're, we're really seriously reviewing a possible cut in the rating downgrade at this point for these right. bond insurers. Uh, what does that all mean? I mean, should we be looking at a shaky market due to that recent announcement? Well, they've been on negative watch for quite a while, and one of the three rating agencies, namely Fitch's, already had downgraded the both of them. So this doesn't, shouldn't come as a great shock. Now, I should declare my interest. As you know, we've made a big commitment to assured guarantee, yep. which remains AAA stable. So you have to listen to my remarks from that point of view. It's, it's nice to have a personal disclaimer that you yourself put in there. Right. But, but the question of rating agencies is an interesting one, not only as regards the insurers, but also the ratings agencies themselves, after having made so many bad bets for so long, to what extent does the market discount the ratings agencies after all the mistakes they made with the, with the mortgage-backed securities? Well, I think they are discounting them to some degree. And you can see that where credit default swaps trade within a given rating category, there'll be quite a variance in, in the pricing of the credit default swap. So it's clear investors discriminate. But remember, rating agencies were never a guarantee. It's just a set of opinions meant to be an impartial set of Sometimes opinions. opinions paid for by the people that they're rating, well, which, is, which yeah. makes that for kind of a conflict of interest. Well, it does in the sense I think they cured it to some degree with the recent announcement that once they review something, whether or not they go for, the issuer chooses to have them go forward and issue a rating, they still have to pay. I think that takes a lot of the pressure off because before there was some shopping. 